Hi, this is Natalie Mirhart, pediatric sleep consultant on Kelly Marie's team. And today I am here to talk about when is your toddler ready to drop that nap? Oh man, I know this from experience. <laughs> but it can be a little scary because I know I currently have a 16 month old and that nap time is like everything to me. So when she's ready to drop that nap, I might freak out, but don't worry because there's actually some benefits to your toddler dropping that nap because it actually means you can do more things during the day. You're not totally tied to your house. And also you get your evenings back because that means that your child can have an early bedtime and probably sleep all the way through the night because um, that nap starts to mess things up uh, right around two and a half to three and a half. I know my son Jacob, stay awake Jake, he dropped his nap right around two and a half because it was really starting to cause issues. So you can start noticing when your toddler's ready to start dropping that nap, if they're over two and a half, it might actually be because it takes them longer to fall asleep at bedtime. It takes them longer to fall asleep. It's eight o'clock and it's like 8.15 and they just like, I know my son was just like, I'm not tired, I'm not tired. So that's usually a sign that they might be ready for it. But maybe you've had a no nap day and they're just like a disaster uh, by five o'clock. So usually you kind of know when they're ready. Some really awesome sleep consultant, Meg, gave me a tip on what to do with that in between time. She really loves this little thing called Zenimals that you can use as a little meditation um, for them to listen to. She calls it independent time instead of quiet time. But you just say, you know what? Let's just lay down and rest for 20 minutes and just this is your time to have some independent time for yourself and you give them 20 minutes you can put on a sound machine she recommended zenimals and then if after 20 minutes they fall asleep great they got a nap they're not quite ready to drop it but that's a good uh in between tip uh just in case you're not quite ready to just drop it all together and you know what if they do 20 minutes and then your child doesn't fall asleep then you can just say great you know what we're gonna extend the timer to an hour and you can play independently by yourself in your room we're gonna play some calm quiet games but this is your time for you so that you at least get an hour to yourself while they are resting so when you're ready to drop that nap there's no really easy way to do it you just decide today's the day you usually want a time where you have some additional support because probably by five o'clock they're gonna be tired and do not let them fall asleep at five o'clock because uh for a nap because then they'll they won't sleep all night long so you want to try to push them to at least six maybe even um 6 30 maybe even six o'clock if they are just not making it and then just you want to start with early bedtime for a week and then you're going to slowly push it out 15 minutes so that seven o'clock is usually a sweet spot sweet spot bedtime and my son's four and when he doesn't nap seven o'clock is still his bedtime so that is a really awesome bedtime for a few years once they drop that nap they will get adjusted they will sleep all the way through the night and you will have your evenings back you will have a happy rested toddler in the morning and you know what you can still do some quiet or independent time in the middle of the day so you can have a little break for yourself so hope that helps and happy nap dropping bye